couple degrees below freezing, hotter than the hinges of hell in here because I've got a really good fire going. And the oven's been on for about an hour because I'm making this rich and creamy meat lasagna. Let me know if you've ever had it. It smells good. We'll see. But yeah, we're getting freezing rain right now. We're supposed to get snow overnight. Lots of wind. It's just an absolute mess. Not really sure what I'll be waking up to tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. It's 10 p.m. right now. Not putting the camera on myself because I'm in pajamas and my hair is looking kind of like Bob Ross. Whew! And the temperature is still rising. You know, I'd much rather have it hot in here than be out in that cold, miserable weather. All right, well, RV ovens do not have a light inside, so do you know what we do? We take a flashlight, give it a little peek, see? I think it might be time to remove the frozen lasagna. Didn't get quite as browned at the very center, but I'm going to blame that on camper ovens because we, we all know. But if you don't know, I'm going to tell you that one of these pizza stones is absolutely necessary in your oven. Like, you need one. Whew! Get rid of that excess heat. Well, for a frozen lasagna, I'm impressed. Ooh, a panache, you've done a very good job. Fun fact, I've actually been to Italy. It was a high school trip. Barely remember it, it was such a long time ago. It was back when I used to walk uphill in the snow to get to school in my pajamas. I need a proper knife. <laughs> I'm making do with what I got here. Whew, listen to that wind. Jesus. Okay, my camper's starting to crack and creak and... Jeez. Open the window here. Well, I hope there's no stray cats and animals out there tonight, because it's not a good one. What do you think? Does it look edible? Did Panache do a good job? I think Panache did the work, so Gypsy Jenna didn't have to. Mmm, not too shabby. Recommend. Look at that. That right there is the best piece. Woo, look at all that cheese. Mm. I'm meal prepping for work. Am I cheating? Well, a little bit, but you know. Sometimes easy and convenient takes the win. Agree or disagree, lasagna makes the best leftovers. Well, I really hope that that creaking noise I'm hearing isn't the roof. For those of you that don't know, the camper has a free-floating roof over it, and yeah, the part that sounds like it's creaking is right over the bedroom, so let's hope the roof doesn't cave in on me tonight. Okay, I just woke up. It's minus 9 outside, 14 degrees in here, so it's pretty chilly, getting a fire going good again outside is kind of crazy. It snowed, now it's freezing, so anything that does stick to my truck right now, I'm afraid to go too far out of here. <laughs> anything that sticks to my truck, definitely going to be frozen on there. Well, that looks gross. Ugh. Temperature update, it is minus 11 outside, 18 in here, 9 a.m. Yeah, it's just continuing to get colder and colder. I don't know if you can see, but there's some drifts out there. And the wood in my woodshed is 
covered in some snow, I see. A little bit of a drift in front of the generator. <laughs> I'm going to have to go sweep the snow off that battery. One thing's for sure, I'm soon going to have to go out there because my wood cradle is getting a little low here. I don't know if you can see that behind me, but the sun is trying to come out, so... At some point I've got to get out there and clean off those solar panels because I know they're definitely covered in snow. But yeah, this is life when you live on a peninsula on the Atlantic Ocean. You get all the coastal storms. We didn't really get a lot of snow, which is good, but just mostly a lot of wind and a lot of ice. Definitely a lot of power outages in the area. The only reason I really know that is social media and the radio, so bonus points for being off-grid. Yeah, I'm just sitting here warming my feet by the fire before we go outside and assess the situation. You're not going to hear me out there because it's quite windy, but uh, yeah, let's get going. Well, diesel heater got a little dusting of snow last night. Uh oh. Oh, gee. I don't even know if I can get that with two hands. Well, that was tough. You could walk down the driveway here, and it's really just a bit of a snowdrift. Tell me again, why the hell do I live here? <sighs> Whew, hopped inside to thaw the fingers out a little bit. This is the type of weather that gives you snot sickles. Some of you know what I'm talking about here. I'm just shoveling out that snow drift there so eventually I can get through there pretty easily with the truck. No snow plow? Hey, no problem. Up and down, up and down, up and down. That, my friends, is called plowing your own damn driveway. Little four-wheel drive. <coughs> what? I won't have this truck forever. Ooh, Jesus. Tokyo Drift, baby! couple ridges to squash yet with the tires, but eh, it should be good to go. Again, why do I live here? The generator started after about five attempts, and I can tell you, it does not sound like it normally does, so a little concerning. But yeah, I had to go put the choke on. I think it was just very, very cold. <sighs> I 
I think I need to put chains on these tires.